What's up guys? Today to the mix guy from the homeless crusade and we are at KDX today on the, the disco background and I got my old homie Erin with me. Erin's an old dancer from when we both started way back when. Yeah. Erin is actually the host of today. So Erin, please tell us how it was. I We rocked up like midway through. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let, let us know what the energy was like, how was the experience, what was it like being back in the ring? Yo, being back in the ring, it's, 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 it's rusty. <laughs> it's, but rusty. <laughs> it's rusty but it's, it's great to be back in part of um, KDX, um, you know, coming back from way back, it's, it's kind of like a deja vu moment. You're making that sound old, you're saying way back, even like it laying way back. back. It is way back, um, and yes, it's such a great privilege to be back, not only um, as a dancer, but maybe something else in the industry, like emceeing, anything in the in artistry or in the creative side of things, you know, it's, it's honestly great to be back, and such an honor to host KDX and bring the dancers back together. It's, it's great, man. It's, yeah, it's great. It's honestly great. Well, I can say it's good to see you and good to see some of the old faces that we haven't seen in a while. And it's good to see there's like a lot of young people who are yes. actually taking part. Like, there's a lot of faces that I've never seen yes, before. Yes, yes, yes. A lot yes. of them I haven't seen before. But it's a good and like KDX has been up and active like for a while now. So like hopefully it keeps going because there's a lot to do. Like, yeah. you can do more than just go to club, guys. There's dance classes too. There is. Yeah. There is. Some really dope dance classes. Um, there is honestly so much happening in the GQ. It's obvious just not being put out there. Um, we've got KDX, we've got Battle Beasts. Um, not only is BC1 coming to the GQ, but you know, every other event um, is moving on its, well, back to PE. Um, it's been away for quite some time. The culture hasn't been really what it was. Um, but it's great to see it come back and involve those who were part of the initiative back then and trying to push it. So it's great seeing all the young people pull through and, you know, um, it's difficult for us to keep up now. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to keep up with the workshops, but I, they're pushing us, man. They're pushing us. We try. We try and keep up as best as we can, but yes. then, the, then the age kicks in and we're like, nah, guys, we'll mm, take over. It's fine. Yeah, but that's why I've stepped uh, yeah, no. backstage. Just, just but be, be the MC for now at school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, voice, okay. my voice is still fine, but my body is yeah. cracking. Like I said, no, the, so. the rust needs to fall off, eh? Yeah, no, it does. But Erin, it's always good seeing you. Thank you for hopping on. I appreciate Thanks, it, guys. That's been me and Erin for KDX today. from Josie, right? Yes, sir. Jo originally from Ita Queen. Lane. Originally Lane. From, I, I remember because when I saw yes, your sir. face in the post, I was like, I know this dude from somewhere. <laughs> Used to be a cramper. Yes, sir. Uh, dude, yes, sir. you know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, I, I, I know, I, I haven't been dancing for a while, but I still remember some of the yeah. faces of the OGs and stuff. Yeah. Welcome to PE. I hope you're having a good time so oh far. I'm sure, you have, I'm sure you've been to PE before. No, my first time. First time? Bro. Well, I hope your first time in PE was actually a fun time. Amazing. So far? Love the people. Friendly people. We are super friendly. That's like, amazing. You'll yes, never get lost down here. There's always somebody to help you figure things out. Yes, Don't worry yes, about that. Yes, yes. But you are here today. You taught fitness class for KDX today. I did, I did. Okay, so I want to know from you, how did it go? How was the reception from the guys who took part? How was the energy? Like, fill me in. Let me know how it went. So the class went amazing. And I just want to send a shout out to dancers in PE for allowing me and into their space and letting me guide them through a process, what I call is a, a dance fitness experience, um, where I take them in a journey and I ask them to dig deep inside so that they can figure out the why and then so that from the why they are able to go anywhere from that and so with the fitness thing what I was saying to them is that if you are a dancer you have to take care of the body otherwise without the body there's no dance you know what I'm saying so I just want I just want them to dig deep and ask the why question and then from there we just went into it so the class was amazing great reception uh, everybody gave their best which is what I like and yeah so instead of doing a two hour boot camp I did a, um, a 20 minute 30 minutes but yeah it was great I'm glad I actually saw like when we did the, the house uh, a class with Chazy there were so many participants you could actually split them into three groups which is amazing yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a big number Definitely, because yeah. normally you'd have like enough just to fill the stage but we had exactly. to fill the stage three times yes. which is good literally yeah so I'm glad that all went well I'm glad the reception was good I'm glad you're having a good time in Bro. Three, your first time here that's crazy I'm sweating it's so good <laughs> Yeah, bro. No, it's good. Well, yeah. from from us 
The podcast is called The Homeless Crusade. So from us at The Homeless Crusade, bro, you're welcome back to PE anytime. I'm coming back. You're welcome back the to chicken, PE anytime. The chicken so chili gets me. Bro, bro. <laughs> That's how I know you had a good time in PE. Yeah. You get to get a Gatsby. Yes. That's how I know you had a good time, bro. But <laughs> Stabby, amazing. thank you so much, homie. I appreciate your time. Short thank and you sweet. so much, bro. Guys, we'll be back in a sec. What's up, guys? Back with the old friend of the podcast, the homie B-Boy Rhythm, who taught the advanced house class today. Oh yeah. When I told you he does everything, I wasn't joking guys. I meant that when I said it. But anyways, oh, yeah, homie, yeah. I looked like it was a dope class because you guys filled the stage with three separate groups, which means there was Definitely. enough guys to have like three separate... A like, solid class. Yeah, three, solid three separate class. I actually felt like a workshop. I had like a workshop energy to it. How do you feel? How did it go? How was the reception of everything? Well, um, I think that it was dope. For one... It's seldom that I get to teach a house class yeah. in PE and it's good to see that the dancers are grasping to it and that they actually enjoyed it because what I always say is that there's just some misinformation or a lack of information yeah. when it comes to different dance genres in Port Elizabeth and I think that I chose house because I knew that yeah. there's people doing it but there's not enough knowledge about the dance yeah. so they go off what they see and not of what they learned. Yeah. So I felt like I could share today because the first session was actually vocab and drilling basics into the part of the house class. Yeah. The second session was me doing choreography and basically adapting to what I taught in the basics and the warm up of it into the choreography that I did. And I'm surprised at how well they took to it. Yeah. But it's not also something to be surprised about because they were very invested in it. Yeah. And I feel like they took a lot from the class. Yeah. Because when you can give them information about the genre, it's easier for them to grasp onto yeah. the movement. Definitely. So, yeah. I noticed that as well because when the guys were busy doing the routine, it's like they wanted to get to that end because that drop at the end was like, it was yes. like the cherry on top yes. of the cake for them. So, they're like, they want to get to the end because then it's like, they and drop. Oh, yeah, they want to, it's like they feel like after they make it through all that and get to the end, they feel like they've accomplished something. Thing, which is dope. Definitely. Guys, I'm sure you would have seen in the beat that we took. The house that you would have ta- been taught here today is not the house that you think you know. It's yes. not the club house that you think you know. It's actual steps. Um, yes, yes, yes. All the yes, pivots yes, yes, yes. and um, step yes, all changes, definitely. all of that. Like, and one of the things I said to, to Jonga earlier was like, this is where like, your, your top rocks, you're keeping the rhythm from top rocks, when your yes, b-boy yes. kicks in. So guys, when you want to learn more advanced techniques when it comes to dancing and all the different styles, all the different genres you need to come to KDX yes. because clearly they got some legit choreographers and legit teachers teaching you as you know you got the homie yes, rhythm yes, but yes. anyways guys that's been the mix guy and the homie b-boy rhythm for the podcast homeless to say we'll before catch you later we leave, before, before we, we leave, leave what's up it's not just KDX it's, it's not just KDX. battle beast that's also presenting yeah, yeah. and we're always representing we, 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 we are here we are here we are here <laughs> so um, it's yeah. props to the whole eastern cape movement whole eastern and cape, yeah. we're trying to push every brand in the eastern Cape so that yeah. people can see that it's not just random dancers in the Eastern Cape, yeah. there's actually dance movements holding and it down for street dance. And there's more to do than just go to club, guys. There's yes. actual activities you can do, dance class. Come learn do. how to dance in the you club. Learn how to dance properly yes. in the club. <laughs> you know? And that will be us. That'll be we out. Guys. Peace. special guest with me right now somebody that I literally grew up with and we didn't we didn't actually dance together ever yeah. we've never actually no? danced like, like once I think so yeah probably yeah. like once in a crew yeah in a crew <laughs> yeah like we were us together basically but anyways guys this is my sis Kash Kash welcome to the homeless crusade thank you for being on so you just had a baby and now you're teaching hip hop and heels again hip hop yep. and heels is back in full effect yep. how does it feel to be back what's going through your mind how is it like being back in the environment with everybody because we all seeing old faces and new faces. How do you feel? I am so excited, a bit nervous. I haven't been on the stage, um, teaching, dancing, you know. Um, but I'm really excited. I am excited to share my knowledge and you know just share, um, show my passion for dancing. Um, it, it has been a bit of a difficult bounce back, but um, you know, like with our busy schedules, I try to 
put it in, you know, I'm always going to love dancing. So, yeah, so basically, I'm just here to show that Queen Kosh is not dead yet. Queen Kosh <laughs> hasn't died at all, guys. She's still here. She just took a break. Yep. She started a family, got married, and it's, it's yeah. adult, adult things. But I'm back. <laughs> adult things. But we are, we're like, we're grown up now. We're not kids anymore. It's like no, time okay. to start a family, work for 9 to 5. But it's good to see you back. Everybody was excited when you walked in, including me, because it's like, I haven't actually seen you in a while. So, how do you feel about going back in and, like, straight away going into hip hop and heels after like first of all you did take quite a long break yeah it's not like we lose it we yeah. get a bit rusty yes. and then we come back but yeah. how do you feel about like the first thing you're doing after marriage life baby is hip hop and heels is it intimidating or are you confident because I'm confident that you're going to do it well look I was a bit nervous and I won't say intimidated but just like will my body be able to do it after a hectic experience of birth um, but yeah I'm so excited like I know that I'm going to push and I am confident I know that I will slay the floor I am going to um, it, it's just been so hectic on my body like yo like like I said bouncing back has been so hard but I want to dance I want to be a, and I want to share my knowledge yes, so yeah <laughs> I can say that I can actually say with confidence that I was there from the beginning of the Hip Hop and Yo's journey. Yeah, he actually did my logo. I know. I'm, that's something like I've been this since the beginning, so I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. But Kosh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love you lots. Thank you. Guys, it's been me and Kosh for the Homeless Crusade. KDX, let's do this. Let's keep it in the thing. We'll get to the now. So I'm gonna hand it over to Chesi. Let's go. 15 years. 15, 20 years. Easy. <laughs> Alright guys, um, so basically 15 years ago is 2008. Right? Nine. Nine. Is it nine? Yeah. Because 16 years ago is 2008. Yes, you're correct. Alright, so 2009, but I have to go back way further than that for you guys to understand. So, I'd say I take it back to 2000. No? Yeah. 2000 is easier. So, in the year 2000, for me personally, that was the most lively part of hip hop culture in Port Elizabeth and the Eastern Cape. So, this is before your, you got served and before your step up and before all of that, right? So, we had Street Dance, the movie. We had flash stars. Let alone, I've been breaking since the 90s, from 2000s. So, in the 2000s, for us, what we had was we used to. There was no real provision for platforms for for, for breakers, and there was not really hip hop top style dancers making it into our industry. Because at the forefront, we as the break dancers were representing for the whole of the Eastern Cape. And from the whole of the Eastern Cape to the whole of South Africa. So we would do local competitions and qualifiers. 2001 onwards, 2002, Kev came to school. <laughs> he joined us at high school and then he stepped into the whole dance world and understanding or seeing what breaking was all about. And Erin basically grew up in our circle. Because, yeah, her cousin was dancing with me, and then there were other breakers. She would come from school, they would go by us, come, show us. <laughs> come session by the school. Even when I grown up for years. How about that? And then after that, high school, that's before Deja Vu even. So, PE always had a very good following for hip hop and street dance because of breaking and what breaking was for the Eastern Cape. Let alone, there wasn't any real support for hip-hop back then 
still the Eastern Cape. You have to remember the people that taught me or that I learned from were first generation and they were in the era of apartheid. So they were colored guys and some black guys that were dancing, street dancers, that couldn't go to white clubs. You just had to stay in your section, your area, the club or the tavern that was there. Some weren't as privileged and some were privileged enough to dance in the club. But the people that I learned from, first generation, they were the only touring colored break dancing group. They were the only ones privileged enough to step into a white club and they were allowed to dance in the club. Imagine all your colored and black people aren't allowed to pass the stadium. You can't come into summer stand. You can't come into town. You have to stay in the northern areas. Shoulder and all the way to Boys of Park. Motherwell, all the way to that side before you get to Udnik. You had to stay in that area, you couldn't come past. They were the only crew allowed to go past as dancers to go into the clubs as entertainment because they were with the DJ. And that was the only DJ playing other genres in the club. So they built and paved the way for us to step into it. And then when I got to them and I learned from them, we were about a couple of shorter guys, just me and me below them. But for me, I was with the pioneers and Emil, they came, they were the next generation and they learned from the guys that was with them. It was Andre them that learned with me all this. So for me, I was the baby amongst the grown ones. And then I got to learn from them. And then for me to pass it on to the next generation and go from there and there. But that time was a very lively time because they, they introduced, um, you got served and there was a whole dance craze. Everyone just wanted to dance, but no one understood what it really was. But back then, for us as breakers, we still stood out because we could do the flips in the movie, we could do the moves in the movie, we could do all of it, we could do the stunts. Power moves is my thing, I could do it, I can still do it. <laughs> Head spins and flares and flips and air flares. It's easy. For, for people that don't understand what dance is and they don't understand the craft, to them it seems like, oh, it's impossible. But for us that know the, the genres and know the moves, it's like, ah, I can do that. They don't believe you because they don't know the limits or they don't know your capabilities. They underestimate you because you're from. Ah, but you're a PE guy just like me. You're my dancer just like me. You don't know what I do when I'm at home. You don't see me train, you don't see me fall, you don't see me sacrificing for my dancing. So, for us that was nice to see there's a next generation of dancers coming. Because then we were excited, yo, there's more dancers. That's when Caliber, DWC, came. other dancers, I started seeing Lisa them, because Lisa them danced at church. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yes, so we would go to Ebenezer, Ebenezer would have youth bashes. And then we would, yes, we would, we would join in as part of the entertainment. Because we would see the girls on stage and you know how guys are, oh, there's a goodness. Oh, who's going to talk to that girl? That's not what it's about, but yeah, you know how young guys are. The man I just want to. <laughs> right. So, so, so for us, it was nice seeing new faces and seeing more people stepping into the scene. And then from there onwards, that's when we started of I. We'll get to that further on, but I'll let Stubby continue as to how to meet in Kaiser. Tell us about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you are you old? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my soul, the name drops. It's <laughs> believe. Wow. <laughs> Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Stubby. I grew up in northern um, Basur Natal. Um, so, oof. I grew up in a very, very, um, not very privileged um, area because it was very rural. So the only thing I used to do in school, firstly I learned everything in Zulu. I learned English in Zulu. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so the only things we would do in school was Zulu traditional dance, Stratamia, you either sang, you either on stage during some, you know, type of traditional dance. Yeah. And I was always there, I'm a Jai in the in the school, at home, and then my mom moved further inland to Pittsburgh. that's just past Durban, that's basically like 30, 30 minute drive from Durban, so we're closer to the main city. And so I was then in, in high school, finishing high school, 2007, eight. So I was always dancing and, you know, watching Michael Jackson, I was a lead Michael Jackson guy in school concerts, you know, like I'm always, I was always there and then, and then, so I'm third generation. Then the movies came, you know, so you always just didn't know what, what was happening or you just watched and you imitated and then the movies came. So Storm the um, Yugo Serve came, came up, we all tried it and then, you know, but because of the background of the Zulu traditional dancing, when Stomp the Yard came out, yeah. my goodness, the stomping, the, 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 <clears throat> the heart of it, I just related. There was something about that thing, I said, yeah, no, I see this, breathe in, breathe out, but that thing, <laughs> that's my door. So that was my door into actual like dance, 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 you know, with the people, then I found people and then we were cramping, we didn't know what was this thing, you know, and we all just tried it out. Um, if I if you see my knee, the amount of time I just did things because I didn't know, just bashing myself down, I'm all scarred out because we didn't have internet one. One guy who was privileged probably went to a, 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 a white school, then during his break, Downloaded the tight eyes trilogy video when he's coming for 10 minutes. <laughs> no, not even the movie yet, bro. And then we'll bring it in, we'll all watch. Okay, you watch, you get this movie, you get this movie, then you all go practice. Go in, go in, go in. Um, then we just did it, man. You know, no rules, nothing, freedom. That's what it was. And then after I couldn't join a dance crew because my mommy, I'm an only child. She's like, hey, hey, finish school, you know. Mm. Don't want to end up like, you know, in the skate, you want to go back there, in the northern, northern because we I don't go, you know. So then I finished school and then I joined my friends in the crew. Ah, then I was part of the Spartans. Spartans! Oh, you know, oh man, I remember being the youngest in the crew. Um, Yo, I learned so much, you know, so I'm supposed to be now in college studying, but I'm going to rehearsal, I'm acting, we're going to job, we're going everywhere. It was so live, I don't know if you guys know, Durban Crown was live, it was live as ever been between the year 2008 to 2014. Mm. We dance, bro, we dance, if you know Flex, you know, soldier boy, you know, verb. You guys know verb now. You don't know verb when verb used to come in and lose every battle against one guy. Every time. Every time. You know, he would lose the. You, know, you guys need to respect verb now because he was the only guy who stuck it through over there. Yes. But he went against everybody. You know, we used to travel from Peter Mansfield to Durban, battle travel to, and this is before like the, the, the TV comes, you step up or step out, your jam alley crew versus crew, masters of rhythm in the crew. And if someone that's not in the crew feels like you don't deserve a spot in the crew, battle for existence. If I beat you, yeah. I'm now in the crew, you not. And you had one, one, one crew uniform. If he beat you, take it out. The right thing in front of everybody, you hand it to him, you shake his hand. Now you not in the crew. Imagine. Now yeah. one day in crew rehearsals, you can't go to crew rehearsals. Like see when she is must dance for your spot. Do you know what I'm saying? So Battle for is when we used to have crown fans, your juniors, your littles, your babies. Yeah. If the big homie felt like, because there was ranked, junior was the highest, then little, then young, then baby. If baby, which is the baby of the fan, if the big homie says, your baby battle junior, 
and Junior, you just, Junior is not a baby. Yes. That's Immediately, you have you have to be on your toes every time. If you lost today, you almost want to go home today, and you want to see that bra later that afternoon. Because how dare you be? You know. And there used to be shows in Durban, and they used to have this thing. Um, the call out. They'll put a mic on the floor. You have to stand up in front of the whole arena, go pick it up, call someone out. And when you call someone out, you go first because basically what you're saying is that I'm not bound with you, you come here now. Whether what and then you say what the what the beef is. So if there was dance beef, you left it on the dance floor. So basically you say, you and your guys over there in the north called me whack because I lost last week to that guy. Let me see how you are now. And you battle. And you went home with you lost. Next week, if you see the brown the street. It's on site. It's on site. People will visit you in school. I used to have. I was one guy in my school, and all the other like other crews were in my school. Every day I was battling for my life. And I used to say to the guys, "Yo, guys, after school, come, bro. There's five of them. There's one of me. And then as school leaves, my crew's outside. Now, yeah, come. The whole school, we just battled, battled, and that's how you got stronger." Iron shop and iron. So back in the day when we traveled and we had to learn how to stay on our toes because you could not be in the crew tomorrow, you could not be in a fan tomorrow. And because of the nature of Crump, it was about community and family. You always wanted to be in the crew, you always wanted to be in the fan because you get you get that's where you learn everything. Yeah. I learned how to talk to a girl from my big home. Because I always <laughs> He's like, go talk to him. I'm like, no, because hey, no junior man will not have a girlfriend. Go! You know, it, it was about family. It was like, he, that guy, everything he said, he looked up to him. And they had to set the morals and the examples, you know. So, yeah, Kizidin, dance, man, and Crump was mad. And for us, we had Crump. We had poppers and we had no break dances. Durban had a few break dances, but our doorway to, to dance was really, really crump. So <coughs> that was Kayla and Dance 15 years ago. Thank you so much. You. As some of you have noticed, there's, there's a lot of us here, like. Yes. Because <laughs> we can relate, yes. <laughs> you know. Um, Cheesy mentioned me. <laughs> my green uniform. That was. That was my story, but then Stubby's story as well. Yeah. The only child, parents didn't approve, but you fought. Yes. I'm going to pass school because I'm going to dance, you know? And that was me from the age of you. Primary school, yeah. I finished in grade 7, 2007. I started my professional dance career at 15, and you. Everything after that is like, <laughs> what are these TikTok people? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bentley, you. <laughs> and Lisa, Kosh, if I, yo, you know Kosh and I had to have like fake beef. <laughs> because cause we went different, we went different, like dance crews. But it's like, hi girl, how are you doing? And then on the stage it's like chase one, you know, can't get the back inside. But I must say, no regrets. I enjoyed my dance life, you know. For those who don't know, I used to dance. And I still dance. Um, and I, I ate summer, I ate summer y'all, you know. You can see my last limb here somewhere. But that was my life as well, and I know not all of you will relate, you know, to fighting with your parents and everyone has their own journey, you know. Um, if you want to have a chat with anybody regarding taking your dance career forward, speak to Chesi, speak to Stabby, Kashifa, myself, Kevin, there's Lisa, where's Lisa? Lisa, Manga, Manga's the one in the green name, yeah. Jongo, yo, legend, he's gonna be in the next um, volume 8, right? Next choreographer doing Poppy. Um, so be there. Um, 
and at such a blissful moment, you know, being a part of this part of KDX. Uh, big ups to Chrissy for making this happen. You know, she really wanted to be part of the thing, but she's too young. <laughs> she's too young to be part of the thing. <laughs>